know how I was going to um, jump back into blogging. I think it was May 19th, the last time I sent out a blog post. And um, I just had to do some thinking and a little processing. And life is changing so rapidly in my, life, in my coaching business um, in such a powerful and incredible way that I really wanted to make sure I was still using the blog um, intentionally and purposefully and usefully to all of you. So... Um, I waited for a blog post to come in and today it was just came crashing in and I usually find a really quiet place to record these like I go hide in my bedroom um, but today I'm working outside it's stunningly gorgeous um, the birds are trooping the kids are really loud in the school playground behind me because it's field day for anyone who remembers their elementary school years like and had a field day like I did. They just basically do all these games and activities outside. And it, it's just so yummy out here. I decided I would record with the background noise because it's super joyful. Um, so let, that being said, let's jump in. So I really wanted to write this week about the power of shifting your life with the why. And at this point, I am positive that there are more than a few of you who are starting to wonder, like, what's the scoop with this why word Amanda keeps talking about? Um, and the scoop is that once you identify it and you lean into it and you start living it, everything changes. Everything changes. And the more and more clients I serve, the more and more true I see that to be, and the more and more exciting it is to face that as life work, to um, step into that as life work. So today I just wanted to get really human with you and go like, I want you to know that I do this work. I do this work every single day. And we all have voices in our heads. That includes me. <laughs> so they come from our various beliefs and our psychological realities of being human and stories we've been told. Um, and I want to propose that the voice we all want to add is the voice who will save us from this human trap of emotions like fear and feelings like pain and stuckness. And this voice that we, that I propose we all add is our why word voice. So not a single person among us is free from all the crud that gets in the way. And for me, the most consistently effective crud that clogs up my wheels is my relationship with money. When I dig in deep, it is of course, about like not about money at all, <laughs> not about money itself, but it's part of a much larger picture. And I'm working on repainting that in my life. And I want to be totally um, present with you that I do this work to, to repaint that picture. So for, um, for lots of reasons, June is, I am going to head inside because the cars in the wind are a little loud. Um, so for lots of reasons, June is a full of life month that comes with some extra expenses. And the expenses are all related to spending money and often, well, pretty much consistently on experiences that create joy. Um, and notice I said experiences, not things that create joy. Um, and so that, that's the beginning. This month of June is the beginning of fun money season. It's summer and we get to go places and spend time together and, um, and participate in things that often do cost a, cost a penny. So, or many pennies. <laughs> Um, and June is also really busy. Any parent would agree for sure. Um, because it's busy, uh, I can easily find myself indulging in things like overwhelm. And this throws me off my game. And it makes things feel like, it makes little things feel like big things. So as an example, money being a little thing in the grand scheme of things. So money stress starts to feel like life stress. And it's really important to separate that and identify it. So regardless of the fact that I may, that last month I made more money than I've ever made to date, um, fun money season totally triggered all my crud. 
And it came bubbling back up and stirring up things like blame and anger and shame and guilt and sadness and regret and victimization. The list goes on and on, and I'm sure you can add to it. <laughs> and this is the part where I just want to say I'm human too, and I feel these feelings just like you do. But what I do is I refuse to let them take over. So I lean into my why, and I choose to step back into life the way I want to live it, um, not the way that the old stories have told me I should come back to. So I want to show you what this looks like. Uh, living your why isn't one-stop shopping. Let me make that really clear. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of choosing to believe that you're capable of rising above the crud. And it's seeing your thoughts for what they really are and allowing new why thoughts to replace them. So my why word is growth. And today growth turned my frown upside down, literally like fighting back tears all morning um, to just pure joy and gratitude. Um, and in the moment, it looked like this. So overwhelm told me it's too much. I can't handle it. And then in chimed guilt. And guilt said, get yourself together. There are people counting on you, right? Then I tapped into why. And I listened to the why voice. And growth says, take a deep breath. Feel the feelings. Decide what end result you want and take it step by step. So there's one example. I'm actually going to give four more because I think it's really important to, to see this many different ways. So overwhelm says, what the F? <laughs> um, I don't know who's listening to this, maybe parents. So what the F? There is so much to do, right? Totally overwhelmed. Guilt says, if you were a better mom, you would have taught your kids to contribute more. Growth says, this is a season. This too shall pass everything's gonna be okay. I'll give you another one. Overwhelm says, I just wanna curl up in a ball and cry. Guilt says, be stronger than that, it's not a big deal. And then growth says, strong people cry too. It's the way forward. One more, nope, two more. Overwhelm says, there's never enough, why can't we get ahead? Guilt says, if you were a regular working mom, there would be a steady paycheck to lessen the burden. And then growth says, keep following your calling. You're so good at what you do. The money is on its way to you. And the last one, overwhelm says, maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you took a wrong turn. Maybe you need to bail. Guilt says, Bailing is the easy way out, not the right way out. Why would you think that? And growth says there are no mistakes. Keep tapping into love. I choose growth. I choose growth over and over and over again. And I want to know what you choose. I want to know what your why word is. And I want you to know that what picking a why word is not just a process of choosing a word that you love. It may come into play, but choosing a why word is really an exploration of who you are and who you desire to become. So it's a, it's a systematic process that takes into effect lots and lots and lots of um, pieces of your life. And it allows you to start to feel how one word can serve you in a really incredible way. And I am super committed to um, helping as many people understand this why work as possible. Um, if you are listening this week, um, actually, if you're listening within the next two days, I am slashing the price on this why action call, but know that it will always be available. If you don't grab it in this 48 hours, no big deal. It's still there. So um, my question to you is, are you ready? Are you ready to start thinking these new thoughts, you know, to face overwhelm and guilt and shame and fear from a whole different perspective and let's start listening to your Y word voice because I promise you it can change your life. Program. You can find the link to that on the website. You can also listen to our co-hosted podcast, Creating Wealth and Wellness, 
free on iTunes or here on the website. And if you're interested in building residual income, check out the Join Our Networking Family link. Until next time, keep doing that thought work. I believe in you.